Residents of Florida's Panhandle must contend with yet another danger as they struggle to recover from Hurricane Michael. The huge volume of timber the storm knocked to the ground last October has become a highly combustible fuel for wildfires. A wildfire in March scorched 500 acres in Bay County before it was suppressed. Florida State Forester Jim Carrolls has overseen wildfire control efforts for many years. He recently discussed the fire threat created by the storm. Hurricane Michael had a uh, significant impact to, to the Panhandle, Florida, you know, and, and as well as into Georgia and Alabama. But uh, about 2.8 million acres of uh, impact to forest lands alone in, in the Panhandle there. And, and uh critical fire danger in anywhere from about one and a half to two million acres of that land. Um, fuel loadings, and that's how we talk in the in the fire business about about the number of tons per acre on the ground. In that area where it was well-managed, private forest landowners, private farmers that, uh, that burned their lands, that managed it well, um, on average, there was probably about four tons per acre prior to the storm. Now there's in many cases, upwards to 100 plus tons of fuel on the ground per acre. The fuel loading presents a constant hazard. Low rainfall will only add to the potential for catastrophic fire. Carroll said the best defense against such a disaster is to support the private landowners and agencies involved in reducing the fuel load. He is optimistic that federal assistance for this massive work will be forthcoming. If we can uh, help the uh, forest landowners, the farmers, uh, get back in there, um, get their lands cleared and getting back into working uh, forest landscapes or working farms again, that goes a long ways in reducing the fire threat. Carroll said that all property owners in the region should try to maintain clear lanes of from 30 to 50 feet between heavy vegetation and property boundaries or residential lots. This strategy helps to protect homes and buildings and also aids in the control of wildfire. The Florida Forest Service is already busy working to support the cleanup on major forest lands. We're working with the, with the landowners in the Panhandle. We're asking them to sign up to call us, and we're going out and looking at their property, evaluating it, and putting in, uh, opening their fire lines and opening their forest roads so we have access in there so we can start to break up those fuel beds, and we are able to better get in if there's a fire threat. And what it does is it gives them access back into their property. The fire danger could remain an acute problem in the Panhandle for years unless there is a collective intervention. Without government assistance, the necessary clearing and other protective land management may not be possible. We could have very large fires and very large costly fires if the weather conditions lined up, and it could be upwards to 10 years of impact if, if we don't start to clean it up. The bad thing is this could happen anywhere in Florida. This is G.B. Crawford for Florida Farm Bureau's Newsline.